um, I think earlier this week, or was it the end of last week, one or the other, uh, the Hakola uh, UD News Service said, I'm always citing because they're like the only ones bringing information. So they showed that uh, beginning on October 8th, you had a group of retired uh, IDF generals together with other, you know, um, leftist political activists get together under the uh, roof of these two uh, left-wing NGOs, Mitvim and the uh, Burl Katz Nelson Foundation, uh, funded both by the New Israel Fund. Um, and they came together and started putting uh, uh, plans. They started weekly meetings to put together plans for the day after the war. And amazingly, um, the purpose of their day after plans was to uh, use the war as a means to establish a Palestinian state. Now, they're looking really alarmed at the data, which apparently is very similar to the data that was surveyed by direct polls and see that the public totally opposes Palestinian statehood. And this is all that they want. This is what they want. This is this is like their thing, right? So they're saying, okay, so what we're going to have to do in order to shove this down the throat of the Israeli people is we're going to have to use international pressure. We're going to have to use the United States to force, to coerce the Israeli government, either Netanyahu has to be ousted by the United States government or um, just U.S. pressure, condition U.S. aid for the war effort on... Um, accepting that the end of the war is going to be this renewed peace process that, again, 81% of Israelis don't believe has any chance of success. 70% of Israeli leftists reject the prospects of peace with the Palestinians in the future. And um, so they're saying, okay, we need international pressure led by the United States, led by the Biden administration against the government of Israel, against the people of Israel, to force us down our throat. And it was like a condition for U.S. aid. And we're really seeing this. This is the policy of the Biden administration, where they keep saying, you need to talk to us about the day after. You need to talk to us about the day after. We insist that we have a revitalized Palestinian authority, whatever that means. That means, you know, relabeled, repackaged everything. Same same terrorists, same everything, same total dedication to the annihilation of the state of Israel. The Biden administration policy is that we have to use the one-day Holocaust and the war that follows in Gaza right, as a means to coerce Israel back, to corral us back into the two-state solution paradigm. We will not give it up. We will not allow a Holocaust to give it up. No, we won't, we're not going to do it. We're going to force it on Israel. We're going to force it down Israel's throat. And this is what these left-wing generals are saying. You got to do it. Got to do it. Got to do it. 